Joshua Jones is in Grimspool today, loading up with scaffolding. Left a bit, Spanner. Right. No, no, left. Oh. That's right. Oh, I bet your mind will... OK, hold it there. Ooh, now, boy. lower away, but take your time. Got it? What? Your time, yeah. Careful! Hi, Josh. What are you doing? Oh, hi, Revy. Be with you in a tick. Josh, look out! Hey, oh, 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 a spanner! Twelve o'clock. Dinner time. Fancy a bite, Josh? Uh, Josh? Josh? <sighs> spanner, you're as thick as, as one of your doorstep sandwiches. Miss Fiona. Mm, I think maybe Trojan too big horse for a little girl, really. I know how to handle horses. I've had riding lessons. Walk on. <sniffs> Walk on. <laughs> Trojan not had same lessons as you. He just wait for you to say, giddy up. Giddy <laughs> up? <laughs> you promised. Take care, Miss Fiona. I'm all right. Mm, I think I keep eye on that young lady. You're a good diver, Josh. Just as well, isn't it? Otherwise, I'd have had me block knocked off. Lucky you weren't wearing your best clothes. <laughs> they were my best clothes. The admirable carrier is putting his finest geraniums on parade. Mm, not bad. Yes. An excellent turnout. A credit to the lock. Next duty, give them a jolly good watering. No! Now stop it, Trojan. You're supposed to eat oats. You are a silly horse. Hmm. You should be there somewhere. Oh, there she blows. Now, Trojan, I want you to listen very carefully, all right? Stay. Hello, Mr. Carrier. Is Ravi in? Oh, he's gone down to the... Oh, my geranium! Who left that horse there? He, he, shoo, shoo, clear off. Go, go. Leave my plants alone, you, you marauding miller. <laughs> Oh, seven! What have I done? He's going to throw! Action stations! Action stations! Horse overboard! We must send for help, Fiona. Send a signal. Yes, good idea. Where's your phone? Up in the attic. Dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Ah, the only way to send a distress signal. The Royal Navy way. Let's get help. Just tell me where. Right, I'm on my way. There's Mr. Lasky. He looks like he's lost something. What's the problem, Joe? Oh, Josh. Would you come? Do you know which way Fiona gone? No. Why? She go for a ride on Trojan and I... On Trojan? Well, by the look of those tracks, I'd say to the lock. Oh, then everything OK. Hang on, Joe. I'm not sure it is. Quick, jump aboard. Huh? Why? Grab that tarpaulin and rope up front. OK, Josh. 
Ravi, get the broom and that red and blue tea towel from the cabin. Josh, what's the matter? Poor Trojan. Signal received. Prepare for boarding party. It's Joshua! They've seen us. Come on, Fairport. You'll have to stay below. Mayday! Mayday! This way, horse overboard! OK, OK. Now, open the paddles to fill the lock. Trojan will float to the top. <laughs> float him to the top. Why didn't I think of that? OK, let's get the rest of the scaffolding. Come on! Oh, don't let me down now. See, Fiona. We put scaffolding up like bridge, so when Josh pulls the rope, it hauls Trojan up like, uh, like crane. All done here. How are you doing your end, Joe? Good and strong, Josh, like you say. I just hope this contraption going to work. Oh, sure it will, Mr. Lasker. <laughs> right, Josh. OK, let's get this show on the road. Baloney! Josh! Trojan too heavy! I've got no choice. I'll have to risk full throttle. Come on! <laughs> it's working, Josh! Now, Fiona, Ravi, the planks. Don't move. Hold it there, Josh. We've done it. We've done it. We've done it. Josh has done it. Hooray! I think, Fairport, we've done it. <laughs> uh, car trouble. Stand back, everybody. Where's the patient? You are true. <laughs> You'll be all right now. Just needs a few days' rest, Mr. Lasky. Oh, that good news, Miss Peacock. Hey, Josh, you knew Trojan had fallen into the lock as soon as we came out of the tunnel, didn't you? Thanks to your granddad. Papa? Royal Naval Signals. Red Diagonal Cross means I need assistance. Red diamond means... I am disabled. And a red, white and blue tea towel means... Yes, I understand your message. And uh, what do those flags mean, Joshua? Oh, that, Fiona, is a very special message. It means if I end up in the canal once more, I won't have a dry thing left to wear. <laughs> <laughs>
It's very quiet down at Bigot's Wharf today. Too quiet. Hello? Anybody about? Spanner? Hmm. Place is deserted, Fairport. Hang on. What's this? It's from Wilton Cashmore. Please deliver tin of paint to Cranford Depot. All that way for this? <laughs> well, Fairport, it's their money. No, no, no. Champagne glasses on the right, Mrs. Carrier. On the right. When Mr. and Mrs. Bigot come to tea, everything has to be perfect. So, what would you like me to do now? Take the rest of the day off. But don't you want me to serve tea? No, don't you worry yourself about that. I'll manage. <laughs> Wilton Cashmore, what are you up to? Well, I think I'll go into Grimm's Pool and do some shopping. Yes, good idea, Mrs. Carrier. You have a nice time. Right, that's another one out of the way. Can't risk having Joshua Jones and his friends around when the managing director of Bigot Industries pays a visit. <laughs> Hiya, Sharon. Hiya! Have you seen Spanner around? Cashmore's given him the day off. What? He said he ought to have a day in country for to get some fresh air. So he's gone to help Joel Lasky get his hair in. Cashmore's either gone loopy or he's up to something. Hey, you're closing a bit early, aren't you? Yeah. I've got this job helping out a friend of mine what's got a catering business. Ta da! Struth. Oh, this hair weighs a ton. Good exercise for you, Ravi. Build up your muscles. I can carry three at a time. Easy. Why don't you then? Hey, well, because Fiona, I'm having what's known as a, a day off. Oh, you thirsty. Me too. Hey, have you been drinking our pop? <coughs> what? Uh, no, no, there you are, Fiona. Thanks, Banner. <sighs> hey, you lot. I thought you'd come help me. We got half blooming field still to do. And here you are, having picnic. Just getting our strength up, Joe. Want a booty? No, thanks, no time. I must get finished before storm come. Rotten wet hay make cows sick. What makes you think there's a storm coming? I not think, Spanner. I know. I got bunion, what always twitch if rain on the way. Oh, that's handy. What a lovely day for me. Mr. Bigot's coming to tea. Another full of all, Mrs. Bigot. Yes, they are very nice. Where's that silver service waiter got to? I told them three o'clock. Ah, oh, excellent. Come in. Hiya! <gasps> you! What's up, Mr Cashmore? Haven't you never seen a waitress before? You all right, Fairport? Something the matter, old fruit? Ah, oh, thunder. Go on, then. You go inside. <laughs> Yes, somebody's going to get a soaking. Joe Lasky's hay. It'll be ruined. Hold tight, Fairport. We're going into overdrive. Hey, this do you good, Spanner. Oh, do me in more like. <laughs> Last one. <coughs> Spanner. Oh, blow it, Omar. Give it here. Yeah. Oh, there, yeah, Joe. Ah. That's it. We've done it. Now I take hay up to barn. No, you stay up there, Joe. I'll drive. Okie dokie. I'm an expert tractorizer. Oh, well, you take care, Spanner. Go steady. I not want any. Oh! Hey, lovely. This is more like it, eh? <laughs> hey, oh, holy baloney. Oh. oh, hey. 
Spanner, not that way. You're heading straight for the ditch. No problem. Oh, oh, Spanner. Oh, oh, steamy needle. If I do, I blink and swear. I think you've got a flat tire. Oh, I think I like flatten your head. Look at my hay. Eh, oh, it get ruined. Look, it's Josh. He'll know what to do. Get ready, Fairport. Go. Right. Load the bales onto the boat. I'll back into the tunnel. That way the hay will stay dry. OK? I asked for a silver service waiter, not a, Excuse me. a, a cafe girl. I am about to Mr. play Cashmore. host to a very important... Mr Cashmore! VIP. It's starting now... to rain! What? Quick, get everything inside. Oh, all the work I've put into these preparations. All the care and, 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 and work. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Stupid girl! What the... Oh, thunder! Save me! Come on, Spanner. Keep them coming. Oh, oh, oh it's start rain any minute. Rally, cast off. Right, everybody on. <laughs> oh, Josh, we missed one. We'll get it, Mr. Lasky. Come on. What shall I do, Josh? Stay put, Fiona. It's too late. Say anything. Leave it to me. Oh, uh, hello, Mr. Bigot. Mrs. Bigot. Um, awful weather we're having at the moment. <clears throat> Anybody care for a volleyball? Uh, they're homemade. Blooming Omer, Ravi. That could have been you. You should never go under trees in a thunderstorm. Trees attract lightning, don't they, Josh? This one certainly did. Well, then, the next thunderstorm, what we have, I'm going to stand right here. Why? Cos lightning never strikes the same place twice, does it? Hey. <laughs> what the matter, Spanner? I only start tractor up. <sighs> and this was supposed to be my day off. <sighs> I'd rather be at work. <laughs>
Just next door to the lock cottage, Joe Lasky and Josh are planting some silver birch trees. Uh, ah, there, that should do the trick. Mm. They only little know, but one day grow into big, beautiful trees. You are lucky, Ravi. I wish I could see trees from my house. Morning, Fiona. I've been thinking. I got other silver birch trees, what you can have. All you got to do is dig holes for plant them. Wouldn't that be good? Hey, your dad would perhaps do that. <laughs> be a miracle if he did. There you are, sir. What do you think? <laughs> oh, no, 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 Spanner. You see, what I really want is some proper sunsheds like what they have in them cafes in France. Oh, well, them sort of things cost money. And I'm dead broke. Good for nothing layabout. Never where he should be. Oh, bloody number. Here comes trouble. The new filing cabinets have arrived for the wharf office. Why haven't you cleared that old desk out like I asked you? I was just getting my strength on, Mr. Cashmore. Oh, he's a proper little slave driver. No, 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 not like that, you half twit. Hey? Lift it, man, lift it. Right. Yes. Oh, yes, Mr. Bickett. Uh, what do you want me to do with it now, Mr. Cashmore? Of course, Mr. Bickett. Yes, I'll... Ooh. Chop it up, burn it, whatever you usually do with old rubbish. But first, I want these taken inside. What? All of them? Ooh, I'll need another sarnie. Bow line, Revy. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> Lashings of mayonnaise. Look, look, it's action, man. Morning, Spanner. Hey, whoa, whoa, hey, whoa. <laughs> What's this? Got the boss's job? The boss? What? Where? What do you mean? You, sitting behind a desk. Oh, uh, yeah. No. Cashmore's throwing it out. What? A fine old desk like this? Hey, now I wonder if... Yes. Hey, that's brilliant. Have a look inside. I once found a gold sovereign in one of these hidey holes. Really? Let me look. No, no, I don't think... Hang on a minute, Josh. What you got? Feels like paper or something. Hey, it's like a map. July 7th, 1864. Silver something bridge. Come on, let's have a look. Silver bird. Hey, everybody! <laughs> look what I brought you. Chocolate cake. Silver mm. buried. Buried silver. Look what you got there, treasure. That's it. Treasure. It's a treasure map. What? See, there's a sort of diagram. Bookby Bridge? That's the bridge by my calf. Yeah, 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 you're right. Come on. We're gonna be rich. You could have hundreds of sunshades for the cafe. Oh, Spanner! Oh, you are wonderful. Come on, Josh. Spanner's taken the map. Oh, don't need it yet, Ravi. Real treasure hunters always start by doing some detective work. Oh, I'm getting all excited. Uh, you dig here, Sha. Yes, love. And I'll start. Over there. Now, you must always check your atmospherics before you dig your archaeologicals. How deep do I have to go? Just till you find the treasure. You've got some lovely flowers in your garden, Mrs. Carrier. Oh, that's where they came from. Now, we must remember to change the water. That way, they'll last longer. Look, it's Josh and Ravi! Oh, oh. Hi, Mum. I'm being a detective. We're going to Bapu to look for clues. 
Not being a nuisance, is it, Josh? No, not at all. Oh, Jones, has Spanner finished shifting those cabinets yet? Uh, yes, Mr. Cashmore. I think I think no. he has. Spanner's at the cafe. He's what? Right, that's it. Wait till I get hold of him. I'll wring his neck. Oh. I think I found something. Yes, it's an old pilchard tin. Oh, Spanner. I haven't found one bit of treasure yet. Just keep digging. Go on. Try somewhere else. Where? I don't know. The map doesn't say exactly where. I've just about had enough of that spanner dodging off. Spanner? What the devil's going on? Oh, uh, we just... Uh... What's that? What? Behind your back. It's not a treasure map, if that's what you're thinking. No! So what? Let's have a look. Silver? Eleven tons? Give me that spade! Eight to sixty-two. No, that's not the one. Well, I'm scuppered, Joshim. It should be here. These are all the canal records going back to 1832. <sighs> Hey, what about these, Bapu? Oh, no, gardening magazines. Oh. Well, I've got to get back to work, I ah. So if we don't find it soon... Hang on, Josh. I think I've found something. Is this it? Hmm? It was propping up your table. Yeah. Clearwater Canal accident reports. 1863-67. Hey, let's have a look. Uh, 63, 1864. Ah, here we are. Yes? Yes, just what I thought. Well done, Ravi. Ten out of ten for detective work. No treasure? What do you mean? Look, it says here, Bookby Bridge, 11 tonnes silver. Yeah, silver buried. <laughs> no, Spanner. Not silver buried. Silver bird. That was the name of a narrowboat. It was carrying 11 tonnes of flint and it sank near Buckby Bridge. You mean... <coughs> you mean... You idiot! Idiot! I suppose uh, I'd better start filling in. Hang on a touch, Spanner. I think I know what we could do with all these holes. Eh, Fiona? Oh, yeah! <sighs> there. Now you'll see trees from your house, Fiona. Silver birches. Huh. So we got our silver after all. <laughs> Thank you, Mr Lasky. Better than umbrellas. Sharon's cap will look just like them in France. <laughs> Bonjour, everybody. <laughs> oh, sure. Ooh la la. Would Monsieurs care for a glass of vino? Bottoms up. <laughs> Some people live in the country Some people live in the city or town Some people live at the top of the tower But some people live much nearer the ground The Joshua Jones Can live wherever he goes Down by the wallside Or any place the water flows La 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 Is that the life he knows
survival rations. Salad sandwiches. Explorer's compass. Nature notebook. There! We've got everything we need for a lovely boating trip. No, you mean heat dangerous canoe expedition. <laughs> oh, Ravi! Where did you get that feather from? Ah, come with me. I sure. We're looking after him, for Uncle Harish. Aren't you lucky? What's his name? Boomer. Boomer? What a funny name. Well, it's short for, um, uh... Hello, Boomer. Say hello. Does he talk? Oh, most certainly. Ravi's uncle is Chief Inspector at the Cranford Bus Depot. I don't understand. Watch this, then. Ding, ding. Ding, ding. All aboard! All aboard! Pass down the bus, please! Pass down the bus! <laughs> Isn't he clever? Fairport, what are you up to? Come here, you scallywag! I don't know. How many times have I told you rabbits are not for chasing? Mrs. Carrier, honest. I've got my life-saving badge. And me, he could swim her. All right, then. Off you go. But mind you take care. And don't go any further than the white railings. Do you hear? We All won't. All right. Dig, paddle deep, little white dear. Easy, easy there. You will get your rations all in good time. Blustering barnacles! Look what you've made me do. Ravi's uncle should teach you better manners. Bird seed all over the floor. Now I don't want any more of that so Oh! Heavens! Midi! Midi! All hands on deck! Bapuji? Whatever's the matter? Boomers jumped ship! This is it. Dead man's pool. Keep your eyes skinned for man-eating crocodiles. Stop it! You don't get crocodiles in canals. What's over there? Me not know. Indian territory finish at white railings. Hello, hello. What's the admirable up to? Can you see him, Babuji? No, not yet. Blustering ship jumper. Here, Boomer. Come to Daxa. Look what I've got for you. Naughty boy. Ah, he's there. A stern. Behind <gasps> you. Ah. No fair port. I think you better stay here. What's going on? Dad. Shh. Oh. Okay, leave it to me. Flying <laughs> 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 frigates, he's heading for Cranford. even eat fish. Mm. I like these lettuce sandwiches. Hey, look! A kingfisher! Are you kidding me? Where? I just saw something blue fly into that bush. Bing, bing! Bye, bye. Bye, bye. It's Boomer! He must have escaped. Come on, we can catch him. Uh, 
I'll use me fishing net. Somewhere in those. Shh! Listen! What's up? Just heard something funny. We're going sideways, Fiona. You're not paddling. I am. Lie still, Fairport. What's wrong with you? You've done enough damage for one day. Something seems to be pulling! Remy, look! Oh, no! What is it, Fairport? Somebody help! Sounds like Ravi. Oh, Struth! The Weir! I told you not to go past the railings, didn't I? Yes, Mum. You're more important to me than a silly parrot. If it hadn't been for Who Josh... He's Boomer. Did you catch him? Sorry, Admiral. Got away, I'm afraid. No, I'm scuppered. Whatever will Uncle Harish say? Ah! All aboard! Pass down the bus, please! Well, blow me down. It's Boomer. He's come back on his own. I've just remembered what Boomer's short for. Boomerang. He always comes back on his own. Ding, ding. All aboard. All aboard. <laughs> ah! Some people live in the country. Some people live in the city or town. 